Hi, my name is Debbie Harris and I'm going to talk you through how to find the best care. First of all, you need to know what care options you have, what different types of care there is available. Well, you have care homes, you have home care where somebody comes into your home and helps you, and you also have assisted living. Assisted living is sort of like a, a retirement village of flats, houses that you can rent or buy, um, and in a slightly more protected environment. Most people find they need care as a result of a crisis in their lives. That can be a fall, an illness, resulting in a stay in hospital often. And the hospital will assess you if they think that you might not be okay to go back home or if they think you might need some support when you do go home. So when they have assessed you and they have made their recommendations, they will also do a financial assessment, which will decide whether or not you are eligible for social services funding for that care that they believe you need. Now, if you are eligible for social services funding, then they will take you under their wing and they will lead you through the quite complicated maze of finding a care home or home care. However, if you are not eligible for social services funding, then you are what they call a self-funder. You are responsible for paying for your own care. Now, if you are responsible for paying for your own care, then you are sort of left to your own devices, and that's where I come in. My website at Best Care Home is aimed at self-funders, and it's to provide you with the information and the advice that you need in order to find the best care for your relative. To give you some idea of how much care actually costs, if you have an agency that comes into your home for about two hours a day, seven days a week, then you are looking approximately £12,000 a year. If you go into residential care, you're looking approximately £25,000 a year, and nursing care is about £35,000 a year. Now, these are rough estimates, and they do vary depending upon where you live in the country, but it's a guide. If you decide that you would like home care, and there are many advantages to people coming into your home and looking after you in your own home. Then you need to find the local home care agencies in the region you live and you need to talk to them, have a meeting with them, find out how much they cost and in particular you need to see whether or not you have or what control you have over the individual carer or carers that are coming into your home because if you don't get on with them then that makes life difficult doesn't it so see how the agency would cope with that. that that's your main point of contact so it's important that you get that right if you decide that you would prefer to live in a care home and there are also advantages to living in a care home then you need to be aware of the two basic differences between care homes care homes come under two categories one is residential care and the other one is nursing care the basic difference between the two is that a nursing home has full-time nurses on the premises all of the time, whereas a residential care home offers you the room in the same way, the meals in the same way, the support and assistance, but they don't have nursing care. So if you have an illness and you are assessed as needing nursing care, then you need to find a nursing home. But your assessment will tell you this. OK, so you've decided that the best place would be a care home for your relative. The first thing you need to consider is the geographical location. Does your relative live quite a long way away from you and would it be better if they were to live nearer? So that's the first thing you've got to work out. Where do you want them to live or where do they want to live? The second thing you need to consider is the type of care that you want, either residential or nursing, and that encompasses all of the other different categories, for example, dementia or any other needs that you may have. Once you've decided that, you need to get together a list of the care homes that meet those requirements and you need to go and visit them. You need to do the legwork and it's only by doing the legwork going into the care homes that you will work out whether or not the manager is the right type of person that will fit with your personality and the personality of your relative, whether or not the care home works for your relative. You'll, you'll just get a feel, you know what the type of place that your relative is going to be the most comfortable and the happiest living in. You're the person to decide. Use your instincts you know best. I would also say that having visited as many care homes as you possibly can, go back for a second visit when you've got your short list and maybe go back and have lunch or have supper. And you will probably, as a result of that, narrow down your search even more and you'll be able to find uh, the best care home that suits you. Then finally, you need to work out how you're going to pay for your care. Because as a self-funder, 
only 17% of people actually get financial advice on paying for their care. And the statistics are showing at the moment that about a third of people are running out of money. Now this is traumatic for your relative who's living in the care home, who in the worst case scenario might actually have to move care homes. But also it's very stressful for you as well who's trying to organise all of this. So it's really useful to get some financial advice and also to get legal advice because you might need a lasting power of attorney because when somebody loses the mental capacity to be able to act on their own behalf they need to have given a representative the legal power of attorney to act on their behalf. If you look at the Best Care Home website you will see that not only do we provide information about the excellent rated care homes in uh, England but we also provide personal recommendations. These are personal recommendations from the residents, the relatives, the visitors and the staff and they will give you a real insight into the care home. You'll understand the ethos and you'll understand what the care home focuses on and the type of activities that they do and the type of people that are there. It's really quite useful. Finally, a good website to visit would be the Care Quality Commission. These are the government body of adult social care in England and they will give you a range of information including the reports that they've carried out on the care homes. I hope this has been helpful. It's a difficult time, it's a stressful time and a lot of people feel guilty if they're looking for care homes. You shouldn't do, you know, you should be looking for the best care home and getting as much advice as you can. So I wish you the very best of luck and I hope this has been helpful.